what's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to episode 2 of our Unturned Hardcore Survival Series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you do enjoy it any time, feel free to smash that like button, and let's go ahead and get started. Mr. Policeman! Help! I'll save you! Oh wow! God! I killed him! Whoa! So if you guys know anything about me, you know that I die. Um, about once every five minutes in basically any game that I ever play. And that's a bad thing, because this is a hardcore series, so if I die, then I'm out. And last episode, I basically almost died. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. If you guys did not watch that, go ahead and check it out. Links will be in the description below. Don't want him to see me. Uh, but this episode, we're gonna do a little bit more looting. That's basically all we're gonna do this episode, and basically just explore this amazing map. So is there anybody in here? Whoa. Okay, good thing I didn't alert anyone. Okay, so, we're gonna go ahead and loot this house. I think you could open stuff now, I'm pretty sure- Well, I know you can, and I gotta bring up my HUD. But, I know you can open, like, furniture- Oh, there we go, I was trying to figure out why it wasn't opening. There we go. Okay, so you could, like, open stuff, and it makes looting a lot more, like, involved, basically. And I actually think it's a pretty cool addition to the game. It's probably, like, one of the best additions so far. And look at that, more bandages. I need as many of these as I can get. Uh, okay, let's take that off. Got my snazzy little leather backpack. It's pretty, pretty cool, I guess you could say. But the good thing about the series is we already are stocked up on bandages, and basically out of everything in this game that I need, bandages are like number one on the list because I'm gonna need a ton of bandages. Uh, as much, especially as much as I get hurt, because they don't last me long. Like, uh, like one bandage lasts me like five minutes. Okay, I don't want to alert that guy out there. Anything in here? Okay, no. So there is a tractor with. I mean, I assume it has gas in it, but there is a tractor, and again, I assume- Okay, what the freak? Uh, I assume it has gas in it, so we're gonna head over to it and try to grab it, but- Yep, there it is. I wanna attract that guy. Forget it, YOLO! Get the tractor! Go, go, go! Okay. Gotta love tractors, man. Okay, so there's another farm over here, and it looks like there's another vehicle. So we're gonna go and check this out. Hopefully our tractor can survive. We could be like- Dan the Tractor Man or something. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it is now. Okay, so I'm gonna park here. This seems like a safe place to park, and it seems like every car in this map is blown up. Um, okay, anybody in there? Oh crap, there's a zombie right there. He'll never see me coming. Okay, let's go in first person for safety reasons. Um, oh, I can just crawl behind these boxes. That's perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and take this off, because, again, I'm not gonna say this every time I craft something, but I am gonna need a lot of bandages, so... Wait, I just took it off. Where is it? Where'd it go? What the heck? I just took it off and it disappeared. Oh, there it is. Um, my inventory's getting a little bit full. Okay, this won't... Okay, what? I need to find a shotgun, because I've actually found quite a bit of shotgun ammo. No, take that off. Take it off! There you go. Um, I've actually found quite a bit of shotgun ammo, which is good, because... I mean, if I find a shotgun, I'll be set, because I could just kill everything, basically. Where did that go? Oh, only one of these? That's it? That's all you can give me? Okay, well, I guess I'm keeping that. So, um, I was going to tell you guys something, but I don't remember what I was going to say, which is pretty bad because it was kind of important. I, I go, oh, oh, I found a chainsaw. It's awesome. I'm so, I'm actually really glad about that because I could never find a chainsaw. Wait a second. This barn is the one from the loading screen. Well, it's almost the one from the loading screen. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the loading screen looks like from like right here. I don't know. Maybe he just, oh God. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Run! Run! I could kill him with a chainsaw, but I don't really want to risk that. Guess I'm- Oh, rip! That that could be my, my death right there. So, that could mean something pretty bad. I'm gonna try to loot everything real fast and then just run, because I'm not in the mood to fight zombies, and I'm also not in the mood to die. Ah! Uh, wow, there's a lot of farms on this map. I see another one over there. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and leave before we get killed. What's that? Uh, let's go ahead and leave before we get killed, because, again, I'm gonna say it one last time. I don't wanna die. I don't see any zombies around, so that's a good sign. 
Okay, let's go in here. I, I bet you there's a zombie in here. Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any loot in here either. I wonder if he just didn't get to this part of the map. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I don't see any zombie. Oh, there's some loot. Oh, more clothes. How amazing. I'm pretty set on bandages, guys. Like, legit. I say legit a lot. I just realized that. Okay, let's craft that into another bandage. Get another one of those. And we get our first dressing. How amazing. Oh, we got a second dressing. Second dressing. Jeez, I can't talk. Okay. What do we need to do? Should I keep these clothes on? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these clothes on. And then, oh, a knife. Awesome. So, we got some tomatoes. Some potatoes. Chocolate bar. I want, I want a, ah, I want a gun. More than anything. Hopefully there's a gun in here. I'm risking my life for this and there's no gun. Ah, don't hit me. Okay, good. And my phone is going off like crazy. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys hear that. You probably do. Okay. Uh, anything up here? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go ahead and ditch this place because it's a bad idea. And what is this in front of me? That is a, oh, that's a big town, I think. Go away, zombies. There's a tunnel that leads to little town. Huh. There's a big town. There's a big town. There's a little town. Get it? Because I said this. Ne never mind. Okay, hopefully I can find a gas can. That'd be actually pretty amazing. And one thing I do have to say is my last hardcore series, I actually played it with the mode on gold. So basically, if you guys don't know, if you put the mode to gold, that means that stuff is a lot easier to find. So uh, this one should be a lot harder to survive on. Oh, okay. Hopefully not because the last one I died early. But this one should be harder to find loot because I know last like last series. I found a ton of loot right away, like guns and backpacks and everything. So, oh, what's this? No, don't want that. I I'm pretty good on food right now, that's for sure. And, oh, if you guys didn't notice, my health is back at 100%. What's on top of that? Is that a gun? Please don't see me, anyone. What is this, a flashlight or a gun? Flashlight, might as well take that. Um, If you guys don't know, my health is back to 100%. And that's because I just kept eating food. And I just sat there regenerating after last episode. So, like, once your food gets above 90, you start regenerating. And, uh, that's what I did. Wait, this has a lot of gas in it. That's a fast car, too. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm leaving. Oh, that's a barrier. I'm gonna park here. For safety reasons, because I don't want to go get my car destroyed, considering it has gas. Well, I mean, there isn't, like, two more right over there, but I still don't really want to risk it. Okay. I hope there's no zombies in this house, because if so, I'm dead. Yeah, I can't jump out the roof. I should probably take these binoculars, actually. At least until I get a gun. I can make a makeshift scope with those. Okay, come out, come out wherever you are, Mr. Gun. I really need you right now. There's a hockey stick. Not really what I was looking for. Anything in here? Open the cabinet. Open the cabinet. Open. I love the cabinets, it's so awesome, like, you just open it. It's so much more, like, involved, it's pretty cool. Got some lettuce, we got a turtle shell, and we got a kitchen knife. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I need to check upstairs, though. I don't know if guns will spawn upstairs, because I don't actually know the spawns of this map, but I really hope they do. Flashlight, uh, more clothes, hammer, hammer. I think these people really like hammers, they just leave them laying around their house. Okay, well, I can craft these clothes. Let's see, do I want to keep the clothes I have on? Or do I want to put these ones on? I like the red jacket better. And then I'll craft these into bandages, so... And then bandages. Dang, we have a ton of bandages, which is really good. Okay, there we go. I think, yeah, we have two dressings and a bandage, so those should last quite a while. I think dressings do, like, a lot of your... I know they do a lot of your health, but I think they do, like... I think it was something like 40 or 50% of your health they regenerate, so that's definitely a good thing. And we're going to head and try to loot the rest of this town. And if we can manage to loot the rest of this town without alerting any zombies, then we would be a legend. Because there's zombies everywhere. 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 Okay, which house should I check first? There are a lot of houses in this town. Uh, I'm going to check this one first because it's closer. And then I'll check that one, and then I'll go check that one. And again, if I manage to do this without alerting any zombies, I get a, pack I get a pat on the back. So... Uh, if I do this, you guys got a comment giving me a pat on the back, because, whoa, somebody is, uh, planning out some heist here, because there's, this is kind of suspicious. They got a balclava, and a bunch of papers on the wall, and a flashlight, and a black shirt. That's pretty suspicious, guys. I think we should probably call the police on these people. Speaking of which, there's the police, let's go call them now. Oh, look at that! Dang, look at those ups! Holy crap, I didn't realize I could jump that. Okay, I should find a gun in here. Uh, Mr. Policeman! Help! 
I'll save you. Oh wow! God, I killed him. Whoa! That was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Okay. Oh, he's a prisoner. Haha. -ha. Mr. Prisoner can't get out. Okay. I would like to find a gun in here, but I doubt that's gonna happen. That I cannot believe I killed that zombie like that. That was insane. Got a baton, a baton, a baton. Police clothes. And what's this? Civilian ammo. I all I know is I'm gonna be pretty stocked up on ammo. I should probably try to make as many bandages as possible. I mean, I feel like I have enough, but I guess you could never have too many. Craft that, and then... Oh, get another dressing. Pretty nice. That should be in my hand, inventory. Okay, there we go. And five. So. Wow. Oh, more clothes. That, that, I still am amazed by how I killed that zombie like that. That was insane, guys. Okay, whatever. Enough blabbering on. Let's go over to the gas station. I really need to find a gas can. Okay, please don't get alerted, zombies. Oh, is that a gas can? Right. No, no. Oh. Crap. Why? I just wasted a bandage. Stupid whatever that thing was. It just ruined my bandages. Okay, I have... Oh, I have a knife and a chainsaw. I forgot about that. Okay, uh, let's try not to alert any zombies here. I wonder what happened to that pizza place. It looks like a car crashed into it. I just answered my own question, didn't I? Carjack. Mechanic zombies. I do not want to alert you, so just stay calm and just wait for me to leave, and then you'll be good. I might leave this town, because I would like to find like a military base or something. And look at that, another vehicle. Oh, this one has 25% gas. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go? Let me get away from this zombie. Okay, let's stop here. And then, where do we want to go? There should be a military base somewhere. Uh... There's an airport. I bet you there's only one military base in this entire map. Axe Town. That sounds interesting. Wellington City... Wait, there's a tunnel right there. That seems suspicious. I think I'm gonna head. I think I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna go down to Axe Town. I think that's what I'm gonna do because it sounds pretty interesting. And maybe, wait, do we go left or right? We go left. So if I could actually make it there, that'd be pretty cool. And maybe, just maybe, we could find ourselves a gun because one thing I know is I really need a gun. And you guys have to love my rainbow bow tie. So if you want to hear the story behind the rainbow bow tie then I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to hear it, well, too bad. I'm still going to tell you. So I did my CSGO case opening where I lost the $400 knife. I got scammed out of it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys may have seen that. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. Um, but wait, do I go left or right here? I go right. So um, this bow tie, somebody commented. He's like, hey, I have something for you because uh, I, I feel bad that you lost your knife. So I added him as a friend and he gave me this rainbow bow tie. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Well, I look at it, it's worth like 10 bucks, but the thing is, I'm not going to sell it because, I mean, I don't sell stuff people give to me, but that was pretty nice of him to give me like an $8 bow tie that he could have easily sold and bought another game with it or something. Okay, what is this place? Is this like a military thing? Please be a military thing. Please be a military thing. Please be a military thing. It's not a military thing. Come on, is there like any weapons anywhere around this? Oh crap, I'm stuck on the wall. Is there any weapons anywhere around this place? Maybe up here? No. Oh, the, well, not technically that is a weapon, but not really what I'm looking for. Oh, wait, is that uh, is that a cold on the ground? Pretty sure it's a cold on the ground. I haven't even ever seen one of these before. Oh, yeah, I have. These things are cool. Well, at least I have a magazine. I think these are ranger guns, so I, I'm pretty sure I need ranger ammo for this. Well, obviously, if it's a ranger gun, I need ranger ammo, so I'm going to try to find some ranger ammo. I think it'll tell me, actually. Okay... Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. I'm just gonna wait till I run out of ammo, and then I'll check what type it takes. I'm pr I'm about 99% sure that it's a ranger gun, so that's that's uh that's gonna be hard to find ammo for. 
Unless this is like a ranger outpost right here. That's pretty cool. Check that out. I think it is a ranger outpost. Hopefully it is. I can find some ranger ammo. Is that a gun? Oh, military night vision. Awesome. So this must be a military place. Oh, ranger suppressor. What is this? Oh, money. I got money. There's no reason I'm even keeping that, but I am going to keep it. Okay, well, we found something pretty decent. Uh, we found... What did we find again? Oh, yeah, we found night vision. So that's definitely good whenever it comes nighttime. And surprisingly, it's not nighttime yet, which I'm actually really surprised about. Okay, more money. I don't know why I'm keeping this, because there's absolutely no reason for it. Uh, this place looks like it's already been looted. Kind of suspicious, huh? Okay, well, at least we got ourselves some night vision. And I'm going to go ahead and head down to Axtown. Wait, is this Axtown? No, it's not Axtown. I'm going to head down to Axtown, and then, like, maybe if I have time this video, I'll go over to Dayton City and see what they have to offer. But I'm thinking that next video, I'm going to try to find a good place to build my base. And now that I think about it, this little ranger station here would be pretty cool to fortify. Because if ranger stuff spawns in there, there's always a chance that there's ranger ammo, which would be pretty awesome, because... Especially with this gun, I'm gonna need it. Now, okay, is there even anybody? I see what's called Axe Town. It's kind of like a lumber mill. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll park here and just walk around the town. There's no point in wasting gas just walking around a town. Oh, what is this? Binoculars, Schofield Clip. Might as well take that. And I don't see any zombies in here. That could definitely be a good thing. Okay, never mind. I see one right there. And if there's a gas station, that'd be great. I could really use some gas. Oh, this might have gas. Ah. Ah. I'm going to try not to waste any ammo on him. I'm going to try to save that for, like, dangerous situations. This isn't really a dangerous situation because I could kind of just, like, run away. How far is he going to follow me? Jeez. Okay, he's done following me now. So I guess I'll go around. There is a gun store here, so that could definitely be good. Um, and I want to check this mechanic shop because I'm pretty sure that there might be a gas can in there. Which would be a... Oh, God, why does everything have to be alerted? I'm going to have to kill the crawlers because, oh, they're going to take two shots, though. I don't want to waste two bullets. Guys, let's see, do I have enough? What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get my chainsaw, and I'm going to chop down some trees and try to upgrade my sneaky beaky skill, because I could definitely use that. I don't think anybody will be alerted. Hopefully that crawler zombie isn't still in there. Okay, no, he's right there. Um, okay, please be a gas can in there. I would love it if there was a gas can in there. Nelson, please spawn me a gas can. I can't tell because of the weird color. I'm looking for red, but I don't see anything red. Well, obviously, because everything's green. Wow. I'm so Wait, this is not a mechanic shop. Is it? Oh, don't want to alert anyone. Is this a mechanic shop? No. I was expecting there to be a gas can in a regular house. Oh, I want to crawl here. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little scrapyard going on. I really hope there's a gas can in here. It makes stuff so much easier. Because I can just travel around everywhere. And sorry if you see this. I don't know why. Like, I, I'm doing that. I'm, like, tapping my leg as I'm playing. And it's, like, moving my hand. So, if you're wondering why I was doing that. Please be a gas can. Please summon me a gas can. There's a tire. Not really what I was looking for. Is that a, oh, there's a flare. I'll take that. Uh, car jack, car jack. These people have a lot of car jacks around here. I could actually use this as a base, and like, because you could, with the new, like, update, you could pull your cars up on top of these mechanic stands, and then you could actually just, like, store your cars up here. It's pretty awesome, actually. Now, one thing you guys have probably learned about me by now is that I end videos very abruptly. Basically, what I do is I just see how long I'm recording, and if I'm recording for quite a while, like 20 minutes or so, I end the video. So, uh, guys, this is it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, feel free to smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.